I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I have two kids, uh, 20 and 17 years old. My husband and I have been married 25 years. We've been together since we were 16, so woohoo! <laughs> um, that should say a lot about us. But um, I have lived here my whole life. I grew up here. I did go to J. Fair High School and went to Fayetteville for law school, then came back here and just been actively raising my family, uh, building my practice. I've been in the same practice for 22 years. I, do, I am a partner in a law firm and I just have a passion for justice. So that's Casey Tucker. So I guess uh, just kind of give us a little background, you know, what, what, how long you've been doing this, uh, what's kind of your wheelhouse in, in, in the law world? So I've been practicing 22 years and like I said, um, I have done pretty much the same thing, the same practice for 22 years and that's been helping clients obtain whatever justice they needed. Um, my experience uh, doing civil jury trials it will carry me far. Uh, it makes me very comfortable in the courtroom and you know I love helping people. Uh, I do have a, a heart for service. Yeah, and that kind of gets into something I've been asking everybody and it's something I've tended to notice and, and it seems like everybody else has sort of noticed this this compassion element really creeping into the bench and it's something that you know you're starting to see just sort of across the board uh, I, I guess twofold question here would you kind of agree with that and I guess uh, you know with this being family court too how do you want to bring that compassion element into that you know I think we have a unique opportunity as judges to make a difference in children's lives and you know teachers they get to see on the front end and get to uh, respond to issues with bullying um, anytime you have a kid maybe suffering depression uh, judges are also on that front end and so you do want a judge that you know is known for that compassion and has that ability to, to really listen um, and I think I'm, I'm unique in my race for that in that regard. Why is that? Well, just uh, with what I've done, um, you know, I've not really been working for the government. I mean, I've always worked for people. Um, and so I, I know that's different than what a lot of people will say, but um, it's just important to me that I'm helping people who otherwise don't have a voice. Um, kind of the underrepresented people that you know they're at a life crisis and I get to come in and make that difference for them and and help them get their life back together so absolutely uh, what, what kind of change and I know with you know these judicial races you can't necessarily campaign for I'm gonna do X Y and Z but uh, everybody kind of has a little niche change that, that they want to bring to the bench. Uh, what, what would be sort of the thing that you'd want to try to implement? You know, with 16 candidates for six positions, that it's hard to be unique on that. Uh, we all say, oh gosh, the access to justice, uh, you know, what we want to do. Um, but I see there being a need with some reforms for the criminal justice system. Nobody's really talking about that in terms of, you know, we we put... Uh, we're wanting to build more prisons. We're wanting to, you know, we let some bad guys out at times uh, that sometimes some not so bad guys get in those spots. And instead of addressing that need, I mean, maybe for some of the nonviolent offenders, we have more uh, other options. We have like veterans courts, mental court, mental health court. Uh, we have some of those other options. We've just got to be looking more at those. But why do you think people just aren't as in tune? to the judicial races as they are maybe, you know, executive and legislative races? You know, that's an interesting question. Um, I think people are scared of the, the legal system in that sense. A lot of people are, you know, very confused why they even are part of electing judges. And it's really important we get good people on the bench. I mean, it just is. And what people don't realize is that, you know, circuit court judges, they affect every aspect of your life or they can. And, you know, the various cases that circuit court judges hear, I mean, it's, it's really important that people are involved in that process of election. How important do you think it is from the bench to, to be sort of out there in the community? I mean, obviously you still have to sort of maintain that, that little bit of separation from things, but um, do you think that judges do kind of need to be out there? And then that kind of a twofold question there. Uh, what part of sort of educating people uh, do you think that judges need to play a role in? Whether it be just the legal system as a whole or just you know procedural things to, to where people aren't as intimidated uh, about the legal system? That That's a really interesting question. Um, I do think that judges should be out in the community, active, involved, um, 
Now, as far as whether they should, how do they educate? Um, I think the more you can do to educate people, uh, the more stigma you take away from um, the scary part of, of courts. Uh, it's not exactly like you can invite everybody in at the same time, and but you know it just makes it a little bit easier, um, and people make would make people more comfortable with being a part of that process. I think so. Absolutely. Um, I can you can imagine that with a lot of people not really being really tuned to this, but. You know, I, as me, as, as Joe voter here in Arkansas, I have no idea what's going on here. What, why should I vote for Casey Tucker? You know, in my 22 years of experience, um, I have just been working hard for my community. I have um, been active in my church. I have done things for my children's schools, of course. Um, I've served on various boards, and you know, it, it's a part of who I am. But. So not only is my experience as a civil trial lawyer made me a part, I, I was inducted into ABOTA, which is the American Board of Trial Advocates, but I was also named a top 100 litigator for the National Trial Lawyers. Uh, so that makes me feel very comfortable being part of the bench. But at the same time, I do have that passion for serving, and I have a passion for justice for people. Uh, so that's what I hope to bring to the bench.